Hi everyone, my name is Ashna and I'm a maintainer for COPA and a software engineer at Microsoft. And today I'm here to talk about COPA and some of the things that we've been working on. So COPA is a CNCF sandbox project and it's a tool to directly patch container image vulnerabilities. And it's written in Go and based on BuildKit, which is Docker's default builder. And we use BuildKit to update the vulnerable and outdated packages in an image. So by default, we do this using a scan report like Trivi, and we take a look at the OS vulnerabilities and update them to the latest version. Um, and this report is also pluggable with different scanner types. So the way COPA works is you'll start with your image, so that would be on the left, and it's made up of different layers, like the OS layer, language, framework, and application. But we focus on the OS layer and OS vulnerabilities. And after we generate a report using a tool like Trivi, we can pass that into COPA. And COPA will go in and parse the report to figure out which updates are required. And then it applies those updates and creates a diff from the file system bundle. And then it uses this and build kits diff and merge operation to create a patched layer um, on the right and appends that to the original image. So some of the recent features that we've added with COPA is first the gripe scanner plugin, which was an open source contribution. Um, and this is so that we can use gripe reports along with COPA to figure out the update packages that we need. Um, and because different scanners show different vulnerabilities sometimes, we wanted a way to update all outdated packages. So that's something we added support for recently where COPA will go in and figure out what required updates are needed um, and updates all of those packages. We've also added support to discard the patch layer and this was a contribution through the LFX mentorship program. So this really optimized COPA because regardless of how many times you patch a image, COPA would only create one new layer which decreases the size of the resulting images. And finally, we've also added integrations in Docker Desktop, so you don't have to download the COPA CLI, you can use COPA directly in Docker Desktop and um, as a GitHub action, so you don't, again, have to download COPA in your pipelines, you can use it directly in your GitHub workflow. So some future improvements that we want to work on is we want to add support for multi-architecture patching. So right now you have to patch every architecture of the image, but we want to be able to do that all at once. And similar to that, we want to add support for bulk image patching. And finally, we also want to add support for newer features in our Docker desktop and GitHub Action integrations. So features like updating all outdated packages, um, we want to support those as well. So to anyone that wants to get involved, you can check out our GitHub repo and our CNCF Slack channel. When we have ad hoc community meetings bi-weekly on Mondays at 1.30 Pacific time. And you can also check out the GitHub Action and Docker extension integrations. And if you want to try COPA with your own scanner, you can do that using the COPA scanner plugin template. And if you want to learn more this week at KubeCon, you can um, check out the COPA kiosk at the Project Pavilion on Wednesday, as well as the supply chain security talk that we're giving um, called It's Dangerous to Build Alone, Take This. Thank you.